Hello and welcome again to this Come to Jesus Daily devotional. I trust you are well. Today we continue in our series in the book of Luke, exploring who Jesus is. And today's devotional is entitled The Journey Toward Worship. Let's begin by reading Luke 1, 25. The Lord has done this for me, she said. In these days, he has shown his favour, taken away my disgrace among the people. There in Luke 1, 25, we have this response, this worshipful response of Elizabeth, Zechariah's wife, to the miraculous birth, the promise of the birth of John the Baptist. Let's now read Mary's worshipful response to the angel's promise of the birth of Jesus in Luke 1, 38. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word be fulfilled. Then the angel of the Lord left her. In summary, we must constantly make the journey from doubt to faith and worship. I'm sure that we've all had the experience of failing to do what we said we would do. Maybe we thought, oh yes, I'm going to start doing this from now on in some area of our lives. Maybe we said it, kept it to ourselves, or maybe we told others, but we didn't follow through on it. Maybe, how was your New Year's resolutions if you made them? Can you even remember what they were? Or maybe just a resolution from Monday, from yesterday or the day before, that we're no longer doing. We know ourselves and we often fail to follow through on the things we say. What about others? Sometimes we've had the maybe painful experience of people saying they would do things and failing to follow through on it. And we can bring this, this, this idea into our relationship with God and we can think, well, does God really follow through on what he says? Does he keep his promises? And this can lead to fear and, and worry and concern and a failure to try things, to stay within our comfort zone, can't it? And we must go on this journey, as we're going to see in this, as we see in, in Luke chapter 1, of having doubt, maybe, questioning, but moving from there to a place of faith and worship. We see in Luke 1, 5 to 38, the promise of Jesus the Saviour, who is God and King. And like Zechariah and Elizabeth and Mary, we have to, as we see in their lives, we have to make a similar journey from questioning and doubt to faith and worship. We do this at the beginning of our Christian lives. We have questions and doubts and we move to a place of faith and worship. But we have to do it every day, don't we? Or anything we're called to do. Any action, any activity we're involved with in serving God. In every day, are we going to believe and have faith or are we going to doubt? We have to make that journey from doubt to faith. Both of these, in, you have two mirrored instances here of the visit of the angel Gabriel. They both follow a very similar pattern. So you have the visit of the angel Gabriel, firstly, to both Zechariah and Mary. Then you have the promise of a miraculous birth of John the Baptist and of Jesus. You have fear and questioning as an initial response. You have then the angel foretelling of the child, or Jesus or John, foretelling their ministry and their character. And then you have the response 
of faith and worship. They had to go through that process. And we see that in this story, such a helpful uh, story for us so that each of us can make that journey towards faith. Every time we hear God speak to us from his word about anything, we have to make that journey from questioning and doubt towards faith, whether it be about prayer, praying about healing, whether it be about provision, whether it be about doing something for God, starting a new initiative, changing uh, where you work, any aspect of our lives that we feel God is speaking to us about, we must make, must come to a conclusion. Are we going to believe or are we going to doubt? And if we're going to persevere in anything, are we going to believe or are we going to doubt? So for example, it's just a very simple illustration here. It's really important to be involved in youth work in our churches, to be seeking to reach young people for Jesus. Young people need to hear the gospel where our schools and our society are not telling them the truth about God, teaching them lies and nonsense. Well, we know God wants to reach them. Maybe we feel a burden ourselves to reach them. It's going to be hard to reach children and young people for Jesus. So we must make that journey. Am I going to believe God? Am I going to move from doubt and questioning, will any young person want to hear the gospel, will any young person turn up to what I do, etc, etc. We must make the move from there to a place of faith. I'm going to trust God, he can do this. I'm going to trust God that he can save young people. I, I'm going to trust God he's going to raise up co-workers for me. And you can apply that to any area of our lives, can't we? So in response, we must constantly make this journey from disbelief, doubt, questioning, to faith and worship. God's promises and truth will be contested with doubt and we must choose to believe and worship like the angel Gabriel in our text from this week. We, let's confess from Luke, like Luke 1 37, for no word from the Lord will ever fail. Let's choose to trust and worship and move from a place of doubt and unbelief. God bless you.